Figure shows a view from above of the wave fronts of water waves in a ripple tank. A. Wave front XY is moving from shallow region B to deep region A. C, D, C, E, and C, F are suggested positions of the new wave front in the deep region. I state which is the correct position of the new wave front. Double I explain your answer. Let's think about this question. The direction of the wave is shown. X, Y is a wave front. Now it's in the shallow region B. This is mentioned in the question. Then it will move to region A, which is deeper than region B. To answer this question, you must know that when a water wave moves from shallow to deep, its wavelength increases and its wave speed increases. So it can cut longer distance in the same time in the deeper region. So let's examine each one of the three new positions. Let's start with CF. Part X of the wave will move towards C. In the same time, part Y will reach F. This means that the wave will be slower from the end Y and faster at the end X. Also, this means that the wave is slower in the deep region from Y to F than in the shallow region from X to C. And this is wrong. In the deep region, the wave will be faster. So CF is an incorrect new position for XY. Let's examine CE. X will reach C and Y will be at E. Also, it's clear that YE is a shorter distance than XC. This means that the wave will be slower at the end Y and faster at end X since X will reach C in the same time Y will reach E. So C is also an incorrect position because the wavelength and wave speed in the deep region must be greater than in the shallow region. So let's see the third position. I think this will be correct because Y travels a greater distance to D in the same time X travels to C. This means Y was faster than X. Also, this means that the wavelength and the wave speed in the deep region is greater than that in the shallow region. And this is correct. Water waves in deep region has greater wavelength and greater speed than the shallow region. That's why CD will be the correct choice. So the answer will be CD. Explaining this, wave bends when point X reaches C and point Y reaches D in the same time. This means that the wavelength is greater in deep region and wave speed is faster. One mark for the correct answer, CD. One mark for mentioning that the wave will bend. One mark for mentioning that X will reach C and Y will reach D in the same time. One mark for mentioning that the wavelength will increase or the wave speed will become faster in the deeper region. These are the four marks of the question. Question B. Some changes are made in the depth of region A and region B, so that when wave from position XY moves into region A, it passes through the position CG. State the change that has been made and explain your reasoning. Now it's clear that the wavelength and the wave speed in the deep region a is the same as that in the shallow region B. So now it's clear that region A and region B have the same depth because the wavelength didn't change and the wave speed didn't change. X travels to C in the same time Y travels to G. This is the same distance for X and Y in the same time. So this is the same speed and this indicates Region A and Region B have the same depth. So the change that happened from the previous question, now Region A and Region B both have the same depth. The explanation, same wavelength in both regions. No bending or change in direction. So all points on the wave travel with the same speed.